Senator, on another news front, uh, Secretary uh, Carter just landed uh, about an hour ago mm -hmm. in Baghdad, sort of a surprise stop in in that theater of war. Yeah. Last week, in, because of all the Trump news and all the political <laughs> news, uh, we sort of brushed over as a country in the news business the fact that the United States has just sold some more F-16s to Iraq and, a, and, a, and, and, and several hundred uh, MRAP vehicles, <laughs> up armored vehicles. In light of the fact that <laughs> yeah. we have lost so many of them to ISIS as the Iraqi army has collapsed on us, especially the MRAPs, uh, what, what would your thinking be now on inserting more American troops as part of our strategy? Well, I think we need more American troops, according to the people that I rely upon. The uh, architect of the surge, General King, said that about 10,000 troops would change the tide of battle. We have 3,500. That would give us more special forces capability to go after ISIL leadership, forward air controllers to drop bombs on the right spot, a couple aviation battalions to change the tide of battle where we could use uh, American attack helicopters. But I share your concern about more equipment. I hope we haven't left an instruction manual in the F-16 and the M-Ramps because if we don't shore up the Iraqi security forces, they're going to collapse again. So we need more boots on the ground for a purpose. About 10,000, I think, would do a better job than the 3,500. All right, Senator Lindsey Graham, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll follow thank up you. Uh, and, and get you on back, back on again. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh,